Light Up Your Life. I am your host, Lacey, and today I have a very special guest with me, my mom. I'm going to have her take the reins and teach a class on how to manage your money. Hey, I'm Michelle. Um, I actually have a business myself, Michelle Knows Money. I've been teaching about financial concepts and being efficient for over 25 years. I actually did it in the high school and then now I work at a university and so I always care about people's time, energy and money and how, and how they like to use it, about their agenda and what's important to you in your life stage and about where you're at in the world. Um, today, like Lacey said, I'm going to be talk, giving you some financial tips on, I'm going to give you three general tips and we can go from there. So the first one uh, I would say to people is to pay yourself first. Anytime that you get paid, it's very important to pay yourself first. I call myself Michelle Incorporated and if I don't take care of myself and create a um, safety net of money and resources then no one else will so I consider my my own paying myself first the most important thing to do so it doesn't matter how you do it you want to make it automated so that you don't have to think about it so that it's easy and that um, it's done every month for you for example if you have a checking account and a savings account you can have your check deposited straight a certain amount into your savings account or however you want to do it if you have um, an online account you can allocate so much uh, the important thing is to do it and um, another thing that I would also recommend if you get anything extra is to start have a little account where you put all of your extra thing your extra resources in your extra money then that way if something comes up um, you can utilize that for your own benefit and have, have a safety net, reduce your risk, and just have a more, uh, more peace of mind when it comes to your money. Um, the next thing I would say is, uh, the first thing was pay yourself. The second thing is to have a plan, your own plan. Everybody has different dreams, desires, um, wants. We all have basic needs, but beyond that, you know yourself best. Something that I, um, it's fine to ask other people their opinion and what's, you know, follow best practices, but in the end, you know what you really need um, in the end as far as, for myself, um, I like places really super clean, and so if I, say for instance, check into a place that's not clean, um, an Airbnb, for example, then and it, I'm not a, I'm not really comfortable. Then I'll check out of it and go into another place that I am comfortable, just be just because it um, creates anxiety for me. And so I do things that I I know myself and I'm able to um, make my situation more comfortable for myself. And I know that about me. You know things about yourself. So honor that. Um, put your money where your mouth and your heart is, not where your mouth is per se, but where your, where your deepest desires are. You know what you need, so walk that out. So the first thing was pay yourself first and make it automated and easy so that you can do it um, each and every time you get uh, any type of money. The second thing was have a plan for yourself. You, it's your life. You can decide uh, there's so many choices to decide. There's so many things. Your quality of life is based upon your everyday decisions. And so your plan is huge. Have a plan, uh, a big picture plan. Life doesn't always go like that, but at least you have um, something to work towards, forward momentum to be able to um, keep walking, keep walking forward. The third thing that I would say is with large expenses, large expenses really do matter. And when I'm talking large expenses, I'm talking about your housing and your vehicles and food even. Food's becoming a large um, percentage of, of people's budgets. And so uh, what's really um, important and handy is to know what you really need and what you really want and to be able to um, 
get a vehicle, get a home. If you if you do not care about, um, everybody has different desires. And so I used to, let me give you an example. I valued being in a big home and having a really beautiful yard with a beautiful garden, may, uh, like a staycation home. So as a result of that, we, when I was married, put our money into a very beautiful home. It was gorgeous, it was decent, and I decided to drive an older vehicle because I really didn't care that much about um, a big, nice vehicle. It was a decent vehicle. It was a, it was a um, SUV. It was fine for our area, but it wasn't anything fancy. The house was really fancy, so instead of putting money into both the house and the vehicles, I decided to um, balance that out with a little cheaper vehicle and I drove my vehicle for 12 years so and then I just now got a big fancy truck and love it but but I sold the fancy house so and now I live in an apartment because of the divorce but all of those things are a balance and so you have to choose what you want and another thing that I would also say with your housing um, is pick an area that you feel safe in that has low taxes that you're able to um, be able to see your money exponentially grow through compound interest and through um, you don't want to be eaten up in taxes and extra extra um, expenses that you, that don't add to the quality of your life so something that I would definitely do would be consider which area of the country you want to live in if you love fresh food outdoor activity all those things are consideration Sometimes we want things that we really can't afford as in our stage of life. So you need to also be reasonable as well and be realistic because some people feel entitled to things that really put them in the poorhouse and they really cannot afford them and they get, I see people who are living more modestly in a maybe um, not so fun area but it's a good quality of life and then other people want to live right there's nothing wrong with big cities, but right directly in Seattle or New York City or San Francisco, and it costs them extreme amounts to live for housing. And then other areas aren't able, they're not area, able to make as much um, headway with the money that they do have. So all of that stuff is a consideration. Don't limit yourself in your own mind um, if you know family and friends, and um, it's always nice to have somebody in that area to connect with so that you could have a meal with or they, all those different things. So all of those considerations, where you move, what type of housing you live in, if you want to save some money on housing and you're, it doesn't matter what age you are, you can live in apartments. Home ownership is not always the way to go unless you have extra money every month not just one month, not just six months, for several years, you want to, home ownership is not for you. It's better off to rent and let the landlord take care of the big expenses and to not strap yourself in ways that cause stress and that cause anxiety because not having money stinks. It is scary and you do not want to be scared to death. So that's something that I would definitely look at, your vehicles, how you drive, no one's gonna care but you. So make it comfortable for you. When we're younger, we think people care. People are too busy looking at their phones and being in their own heads and their own lives to care. And if those people who really do care are caring, um, unless they're financing, big deal. They can look the other way because it's your life. What I encourage you to do is to know and honor yourself through this, through all of the decisions that you make, through your housing, your vehicles, and which brings me to another big expense is uh, food. Food's very expensive and so if people can learn how to deal with the grocery store, they may have a little bit extra money to spend at the end of the month. Uh, meal, meal planning, meal prepping, uh, eating seasonally, making sure that you are going through your pantry, your refrigerator, all of your areas that you have food and deciding how you can use them before the expiration date. Because remember, we wanna have things in our house that have expiration dates. Cause we, you know, Twinkies could live through a nuclear blowout. So we 
I don't want to be eating a Twinkie because I'm not going to be feeling so hot later. So I, you know, and the older you get, the more all of this stuff really does catch up to you. So all of these good habits and these things um, do help. So grocery store is huge. Make a list, um, eat holistically, eat things that aren't processed. That's always very, very helpful. Shop the perimeter of the store. They have the less boxed stuff. It's usually fresh produce, meat, uh, veggies, dairy. So those are the, um, you want to just make, yeah, make sure you're shopping the perimeter. So with your food stuff, um, have a plan. Again, let's have a plan. Uh, also, so the three points, I want to go ahead and go wrap this up. Um, it, once again, um, know and honor yourself. Uh, so this is your life, not anybody else's. So first thing, you're going to pay yourself first. You're the most important bill there is. It doesn't matter what percentage. Just start. Start today. Start now. Taking a little bit out every time and it'll start to add up. Compound interest, it's, it's unbelievable. It, it really is magical. Um, number two, you wanna have your plan about your life, your priorities, what's important, your needs and wants. And then number three, with the big, large, expensive items, uh, such as housing, vehicles, and food, you want to decide what air, you want to decide the best bang for your buck. Where you're going to get tax leased, where you have a great quality of life, where you're going to be able to maximize your income and meet all expenses and get ahead and have have the happiest life you you that's possible for you. And that's what it's about. It's about you and your agenda, your life, um, your resources, your time, energy, and money. How are you going to use those in the ways that feel good to you? Because if it doesn't feel good to you, then we need to modify it. Not everything, just modify things. Everyday little steps. If you don't like something, then next time, is, say you go to a restaurant and order something, don't like it, next time don't order it. Maybe go to a different restaurant, try something new, maybe cook something at home. Who knows, just do another strategy so that you feel better about you and your life. So once again, the three money tips, pay yourself first, have a plan for your, your own plan, your own stage of life, and then with the large expenses, you wanna make sure that you are maximizing um, because they're such large expenses and because it does eat up a big portion of everyone's uh, budget, you want to make sure that you're that you're choosing the wisest. So with those three things, I hope you have a, um, I hope you decide to utilize some of those and I hope you have a great life. Thank you.